Hello, this is Jeff, and we're going to make a different version of the pike rig. Um, we're going to be using <coughs> Berkeley chair line, um, 20 pound line, Berkeley stellion liters. Um, this is fluorocarbon, um, not the steel kind, and then. It already has a um, <clears throat> clavis, um, I forget what you call it, but something on the end. Um, and then we're going to be using a lure, two double strong hooks. And what I mean by double strong is. These have two lines on them, and then it's tied backwards again. Then option of lunker lights for night fishing too. And we're gonna use a three split. Um, this is what I was talking about. That would hook on to these. And um, these things, not the head of this, but this main back, you can use it um, on each one of these hooks to look like two fish are running. And where it go? Oh, here it is. And all these three split wheels, where it has three. And okay, we're gonna cut our 20 pound test line so much. I'm going to show you how to make this. We're going to get out all our steel lines. And we're going to tie this. <clears throat> and this is smaller and less likely to get calm like a perch rig. This can actually be used as a perch rig. Gonna twist this around six times. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Then loop it through to complete that fisherman's knot. Part number, like I told you on the previous video, make a secondary hook or this could come loose <clears throat> after I find the pike. <clears throat> then we're going to take a three way, open the clavis on this, or barrel swivel snap, whatever you prefer to call it. And you can either do two or three. You can hook it through a center of this. Or just the one we're going to say go in the middle. And then, um, so you can undo your hooks and redo them, or if you want to extend the line out, we're just going to put, this is a demonstration, you can get the rest idea with more hooks. Actually, that won't fit through because that big knot up there. But, um, you can attach these or some lines on this, followed by, um, these are lower lights. I'm not going to open them up because they'll get exposed to sunlight and then, um, You can have these on a the hook. And, um, your bobber would go. on the fishing line, of course. <clears throat> to... <clears throat> keep it afloat. I'm talking real quiet, like, because I'm upstairs, my dad's in the other bedroom this time, sleeping, and that fiber would go on the line and then keep this afloat and help it wire kind of drag it through water and with the lunar lights they're great for catching catfish at night um, at your best fishing hole or um, in the marshlands or swamp areas whether north or down south and then, um, um, or you can like run two walleye rigs or three on this for double your luck during walleye season and. Um, you can do a lot of what, things with one of these and a three-way split, um, three fish, instead of having a, if you don't have an umbrella rig, you can make one of three, which is great for some seats like California, um, on a 
and Bullock Rig you get three, sometimes five hooks to seven. And, and like California, they regulate where you can only use three hooks on the um, on the umbrella rig, and you have these attached. Not that head though, just the body with the tail, and then um, you can have like seven, five of these on. Whatever umbrella rig has on it, then three hooks, so you're okay and legal with your state. Um, check your laws on umbrella rigs so you don't get in trouble by DNR. And, um, or if you want to get a little goofy, you know, use that three way with three lures or. Big trolling lures like these. Those are bigger than my biggest lure I have in here. This is not my biggest lure um, right here, but I'm not gonna dig out. But you can see in size comparison. what a trolling lure is compared to a normal lure. Look at the size of that. A little longer, that's curved. And it's curved like that. So it goes like that in the water. And um, have more videos um soon thank you for watching